You got some of that green stuff on you too, huh? This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, how do you think I feel? I had the ultimate stash hole, and now I got a kid in my thigh. Wow. What? Look, you seem like a perfectly nice guy in my hand hole, but if I can't sort this out, I'm dead. What the hell, dude? Gross. I, I was just trying You're to... You're trying uh... to what? Where'd this stuff come from? Garbage goober! Get out here and eat this garbage! Trash. Garbage goober! Trash! Trash. 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 I want to talk about top it off. Do you know how dangerously toxic this stuff is? And you added it to my portal fluid? Only because you don't trust me! Oh, that's great logic, Morty. Forgive Babe, me for not doing the kissy yeah. shout gesture. Since you probably spilled this shit everywhere and I don't want to teleport my lips. I did, I did not spill it! I won't take your word for I that. I did not! To, which is why I have sidekick rules. If you can't <clears throat> follow them... I can be replaced! Yeah, yeah, so you keep telling me. Excuse me? Did you just try to call my bluff? Have you ever seen me bluff. Fine! You know what? Replace me! Replace me, Rick! Just do it! Good luck finding someone that can be told 80,000 times how replaceable they are! Okay, I'll see your bluff call and raise you reality. I can't pretend I haven't been looking forward to this. Behold, my wheel of better things than Morty. What? What are you, eight? Is this macaroni art? You expect me to believe you built this because you don't care? No, I built this because I don't expect shit from you. Come on, anything! Anything but Morty! Let's go! Come on, baby! No whammies! D -d 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 Stop! Okay, that's it. Two crows. You're fired. You know what? Eat shit. Two crows. Two crows. Make me crows. I never said you're worthless. In Go fact, I've given you a very clear metric of your worth. Two crows. Nope, I didn't say three. Man, that is not a healthy relationship. I hope you don't mind me eavesdropping. Maybe we can figure out some sort of soundproof bandage solution. Hey, did Garbage Goober eat my porno magazines? So were you, like, a friend of Rick's? Were you? Good question. What's he doing? Is he out there making sure you see him collecting two crows? And now you're thinking, gee, maybe if he cares enough to hurt me this bad, dot, dot, dot. <sighs> Break the cycle, Morty. Change the things that you can change. That's what I did. And now I'm free. Who is this guy? I don't know who the hell framing six years into six minutes, fellas. Take your time. Now that's what I'm talking about. If you nail the next one, I've got bird quaaludes, and I might even share. You, you know, you can stop doing the problem. He is. And if you can have a fresh start, then maybe I can too. It's not like it's a prison break. We're just leaving like a hospital that wants to help you extra bad. Just follow me. Extra bad. Hey, get back here. We better open this door. I can fly. Keep running, Nick. The more you sweat, the saltier your cheeks. Listen! Thanks, Marty. Weirdos. Okay, I got something like that. boys! Did you hear that? That's gonna stick. Damn, just like Jackie Chan! Ha! Guess that makes me Chris Tucker. I guess? I guess? From the asylum, but from Rick. You get to save what the adventure is now. You still got that list? Dude, we can't do that stuff without Rick's tech. And it's time the portal boys get themselves a oh. portal gun. Remember your training crumbs. The idol should be around that corner. Did you guys just follow training when you feel like it? That's not being trained, that's being dicks. Oh, now I see. Real treasure is empathy. That's worth way more than any knickknack. You guys just earned yourself another adventure. <laughs> the adventure is you're fired. Sorry, guys. If I wanted another bleeding heart, I'd inject reanimator serum into an actual bleeding heart. <laughs> Relax. This is an avian planet with 40 million species of bird. Even one day of working under me will make you apex geniuses down there. Now hop into these pneumatic canisters they used to use at bank drive throughs in the 70s. That wasn't that long ago. <laughs> <sighs> wow. Hey, who's tractor beaming me? Nobody tractor beams me. Nobody deep scrambles my tractor beam scrambler to boot. Sorry, 
for the tractor beam. But did you lose these two crows? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I, I dropped them off because I, I can't hold a candle to them. You know, it seemed like a, a, a decent thing to do. Be your crows. Train yourself. Crows are then trained. I'm open to what you're describing if it's easier than wiping an unearned smirk off my grandson's face. W what do I do? Look at your crows. Be your crows. God, I'm so glad I'm a primate. Fine. Looking at my crows. We train ourselves to stop training. The trained are untrained. We are untrained. All training is complete. Because no training was needed. Listen to yourself. We wouldn't even be in this situation if the dude hadn't fucked us both over. Damn it! He must be showing the gun off to his stupid crows. It's not fair! It's okay. We can still liberate all this other stuff. Let's only grab what we need, though. Oh no, shit! That's Rick's can crusher. He spent three weeks perfecting that. Morty, buddy, you forget that we're in this together. <gasps> Besides, tell me that didn't feel the slightest bit good. I mean, yeah, but we can't do that again. Why the hell not? Son, have you fallen in with a weird stranger and are now trashing your grandpa's place? Because I'll help. Hey, Dad. Wow. Whatever, man. Stupid. Oh, yeah. The one thing he does is that. Me. For help? That wasn't me. What do you mean? Get out over here. Jerry, what the fuck? Why are you a puddle? Well, you don't deserve these. <laughs> Jeez. Can't you will a bad time? Yeah, Jerry. They took my goddamn crow. Goober, get back in your hole! <laughs> First adventure! This is definitely the place? Yeah, Rick's been ripping these guys off for years. They'll be really... Uh, grateful. You know, they're... Let's just get that fluid, bud. The portal boys are about to be in portal business! Here he is! This rat was skimming your crystal harvest and sending it to a spaceman named Rick Sanchez. That's the new Rick kick his dick now, right? But me and Nick here, we, we, we put a stop to that. Oh, that's how they get the juice for the <gasps> portal gun? The keeper of cool talk. thank you. He's a bad guy, right? You, you're gonna bring him to justice? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, but pleasure doing business. <laughs> not so fast, Morty. We're not leaving until we get what we came for. Funny, I'm prepared too. So hey, look, what, what we want is portal fluid as our thanks. <laughs> portal fluid? You think I'd live in a lizard mine if I had portal fluid? Right, okay. Or we could just kill you for it. <laughs> he's kidding. He, he's, the, the portal was only killed with kindness. And with guns. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I'm not the one shooting. I'm sorry.
God, that was awesome. You, you could have killed me back there. H how did you guys ever forgive me? Ah. Right, because this toxic thing I have with Morty doesn't define us. Man, crows are empathetic as fuck. <laughs> oh my God. Definitely wow. saving this one. Crows are empathetic as fuck. Let, let Grandpa fix you up. What do you want? A robot hand? A lizard hand? I can make it big again like that one time. Just my regular hand? Right. Not a time for bits. I get it. Not a time for bits. There you go. Good as new. So we're like back, back, right? Rick and Morty together again. Full, full reset? <sighs> no. No, Morty. I think we're done. B because I spilled the portal fluid and didn't tell you? No, Morty. Because you were too afraid to tell me. What we had was abusive, don't you see? I'm a bad partner because I never made you a true partner. Oh, the crows made me say that. <laughs> I thought they were a joke like you, but it turns out they're oh, more God. enlightened than any of us. Oh, okay. And, and what's the undercut? You're not hearing me. I will never be the same. So I need to leave with the crows and see what more they can teach me. Oh. Oh. Here. I want you to have this. Oh, wow, I... You know what, Rick? You really have changed. Well, thanks, Morty. I'll always be your grandpa, Morty. I'm just kind of obsessed with crows now. Kind of obsessed with crows now. I thought that the sun burned brighter with you by Episode 9 of Rick and Morty and what a long way around to get to a point. I mean, this was absurd, obnoxious, and crazy all the way to the end, to the very point of what had happened to make it so sad. Um, I thought Rick was being super petty and trying to play this out. I think he started off being that way, but then it like he took a turn and just like, I'm just going to go and do this. I'm just going to go full force and do it and be by myself. And now Morty is just devastated at home by itself. Um, interesting episode, um, kind of weird with the crows on there. Didn't know where they was going until we got to what we got to at the end. But it still don't know where it's going. Yeah. Like, wait, it's gonna go off and hang out with crows now? Yeah, but he got to be back, right? I mean, um, uh, the funniest thing in here was, was Garbage Goober. I mean, and then even Garbage Goober had to post credit scene, which is hilarious that he's not even fucking eat trash. He just been pretending like it for the whole time so mm, uh, that was hilarious right there but hey still another interesting episode it is Rick and Morty so hey can't wait to come back for episode 10. Yeah this almost felt like it could have been the season finale just because they made it such a weird right. wow. uh, ending as far as like him and uh, Morty going in separate directions again um, so I guess it's great that there is still a finale because they're obviously going to rectify whatever just happened here. 
Um, but yeah, the total um, commitment to the crows going all the way in and all the tropes that have to do with crows, <laughs> from the scarecrow mm -hmm. to like even the scene where they explode and you see the black feathers to even the warning signal that is crows. They just went all the way in. All I loved crows. his I loved his line too. He's like this crow story is like get taken it out of me or whatever that line was yeah. in the episode too. Just fully self aware that we're totally committing to this storyline and we're gonna go all the way there. Um, the portal, the portal boys, I thought was funny too. I thought that worked really well. Again, completely exaggerating the usage of the portals, like in ways that it's not necessary. Like he didn't have to shoot through the portal to shoot everybody. That seems like it's causing more work than is needed. Yeah. Um, but portal boys. the escape from the uh, asylum. I think was the best usage of that and then ultimately when old dude was trying to get uh, Morty to crash the car I thought was a great use of it as well but yeah my highlight definitely is garbage goober I mean the voiceover alone just the way that he says it is so freaking hilarious mm -hmm. to me and then to have an end credit scene where like he's not this like goober ass uh, guy <laughs> that he's like an actual doctor is too so fucking funny to me so <laughs> I love that that was super clever and really looking forward to see what they do with the finale. Yeah. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Rick and Morty Season 5, Episode 9. And until next time, people, peace.